Thank you. Yeah. Hi there. I hope you're having a lovely Easter weekend. I'd like to show you how you might make uh, an Easter garden. And this is this is one example of how you could make an Easter garden. Uh, I made one in a in a box like this, but that might be a little bit too big. You could make one in a box, in which case put some black plastic to line it. But what you might find a little bit more easier is to use um, like a terracotta saucer from a plant or an old bowl. This is an old wooden bowl that has been knocking about that I think would make a lovely Easter garden. So I'm going to use this. Um, first of all, I'm going to put in some garden soil or just some soil that comes out of an old plant pot. So we'll put that in. Um, and then I'm going to use some of these lovely rocks that Peter gave me. And this, this will represent the, the tomb that Jesus was buried in and, and rose on, on Easter Sunday when he rose from the dead. It was the tomb. So that will be the tomb. And you can arrange stones or rocks. Or if you don't have, you could use something like this. And place that in your Easter garden. Now, what I'd like to do is to, is to put the cross. Maybe even, I've made three crosses because there, when Jesus died on the cross there were two prisoners that died either side of him so I've got three and you'll need some help maybe from your parents to make these but if you get a twig or a stick and have one a bit longer than the other and you place them together you need help to hold these together and then you wrap some raffia or string around it so that's something to be getting on with now figured out that it's not the easiest thing to get this to stand up so what I've done is I've got a toilet roll I'm sure you have plenty of these knocking around put a hole in it or three holes in it and I'm going to plate wedge that behind the stones that make the trim and then it's a little bit easier to keep the cross in there okay let's see if I can put the three of them in at the same time that'll be clever now I want to make it a little bit prettier than that so I'm going to cover it with some moss that I found in the lawn so I cover it with that now I took this moss out of my lawn and with any luck you've got moss and things growing in your garden and your lawn you can ask your parents if you can pull up some of it pull up a few plants while you're doing it but only if they're the plants that it's okay to pull up like this this is a very nice little plant it's got a little blue flower some people call it a weed but i think it's a nice plant and what else have we got here some more moss and grass and there's a nice little plant that i'm going to pop in there and i'm going to put in another little stone just to wedge it in and let me show you some of these plants that or weeds Depending on what you, how you think of them. I'm sure you know what this one is. I pulled this out of the flower bed on the lawn this morning. This is a daisy. Which some people think it's a weed, but it's nice. It's a nice plant. And this one is an interesting plant or flower or weed. It's called Speedwell. It's got a lovely little blue flower. So I'm going to put that in the front there. Oh, and there's a nice little one. I think that's that looks like a an ivy or something or other. Okay, so then if you firm those down into the earth as best you can, make sure that your trim is the way you want it to be. There's a little hole in there, it's kind of closed over. Okay, a little bit of gravel, maybe just to make it look nice. If you have gravel, if you don't, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do now, in a minute, is give it a good watering because it's very dry. And there we have it. An Easter garden. I hope you have fun making yours and have a very happy Easter.